I am Godfrey Mefolo Wodre. Uh, I'm born here in 1985-08-31. As a young man, Godfrey Nefolo Wodre walked a 38-kilometer round trip to get to high school every day. As a young man, when you travel from Matatan, you can be very tired. A journey that took about three hours each way. He usually left home in the dark, and it was almost dark by the time he returned. Home was the deeply rural village of Kwakani, a community of just 100 people in South Africa's far northeastern corner near the borders of Zimbabwe and Mozambique. When Godfrey, now 35, was at school, Kwakani had no running water, electricity, cell phone reception, or internet access. Unemployment was high. Only one person in the village was formally employed at the time, and money to buy diesel for the borehole pump or paraffin for the lamps in villagers' homes was scarce. For years, Kwakani's residents felt neglected by their local municipality, and the chance of change seemed slim. Some they call it uh, forgotten people. Job courses look like we are forgotten by our municipality and our government job course. Since I have been born, I never seen a civic delivery in this village. But in 2014, the School of Electrical Engineering at the University of Johannesburg started to work with Kwakani to make essential improvements. A solar borehole pump was installed, as were solar-powered streetlights and indoor lamps. Large cold storage units, a creche and a solar-powered bakery. Today, the bakery employs eight residents and makes bread readily available to the village and other nearby communities. All of the technology installed in Kwakani is monitored remotely through an Internet of Things network that can be accessed and controlled from UJ. This helps to ensure that the interventions introduced in the village operate smoothly and sustainably from the present day well into the future. Fourth Industrial Revolution Technology. At UJ, we're reimagining the future and it's changing lives. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.